What's going on guys? Today I'm going to help you get all of the eggs for the new egg hunt in 2021. I'm going to do them in order. We're going to be quick, concise, no mucking around. Press like, subscribe to the channel, notification bell turned on. Let's get started. Cloud egg. This egg often gets mistaken for overworld clouds. Now, things can be slightly different from what I've heard. It can be slightly different for everyone, but for me, I've jumped way too high. So when I first did it, it was on this trampoline down here, but as you can see, I can see it's right over there. So I'm just gonna jump over, grab my first egg. They must move. It's that simple. So I'll be able to show you the rough area that all of them exist in, but you're going to have to do a little bit of searching yourself. So there it is. Cloud egg. It looks like there was also one up there. So there can be more than one. Egg of misdirection. Forwards is backwards. This one is difficult for some mobile, Xbox, so on. If you're on PC, super easy to do. I found mine in the beach world first. So let's check there. All right, there it is. So what the go with this egg is when you get too close to it, forward becomes backwards. So what you need to do is you need to sneak in until you start being pushed away, then start pressing backwards in order to run up to the egg, egg of misdirection. All right, and then finally, the sticker egg, which can be found on the back of the leaderboards in the overworld. So you could have gotten this one before the egg of misdirection, but I'm doing them in order. It should be found on the back of here but it looks like it's moved on this account. So we're gonna check the back of pretty much everything. All right, so for me, here it is on the back of the double coins board here. You just gotta look for this egg. Uh, on my Magic Bus account, it was here on the back of the egg hatches. So there, it was there as well. It's pretty straightforward. Uh, up next is the ocean floor egg. This one's very easy to do. It just, it takes a little bit of time. Basically, stand on every single starfish in Atlantis. So right from the door, red, blue, and you can see they light up as you step on them. So you've just got to run around. I'll speed this bit up. Once you've got them all, they turn green. Pretty easy. Then just come back to the center here, and then boom, you got your ocean floor egg. Up next, we have the store egg. This one's a little bit of a pain, but it is very doable. So we'll start with uh, Mystic Forest. We'll work backwards. So basically, you're looking for all of the letters that are missing from the store. So you've just got to run around, have a look-see. There it is. S is on top of the waterfall right here. So there's S, Mystic Forest, top of the waterfall. Next, we'll go to the Underworld, which should be very easy to spot this one. Right here, behind the eggs for O. Next up, in Rainbow Land, we should be able to find a T here behind the eggs. Oh, next to the eggs, my bad. Uh, there aren't any in Atlantis, as far as I remember. Next up is Beach World. Right here, there's the blue palm tree we all know. So there is M. Up next is Toyland. And then finally, I believe there is one in Candyland and one in the Overworld, perhaps. So right here, we can find R. All right, so in Candyland, come out of the portal, run down here. Just go like behind the gum shop and you should be able to see it right here. It's a little bit hard to see in Candyland. So that way, go to the gum shop. You should be able to find it. And as you can see, now I've restored all the letters on the gum store shop. I can jump up there and get myself the egg. Boom. All right, the gum shop egg is ours. Up next, the egg of guessing. This one's annoying. This one's very annoying. Now, I have heard that if you stand near a guessing game when it's completed you'll be fine. But all I know is you have to, I'm not gonna, I'm gonna have to wait. You have to get all five of these correct. All right, game is about to reset. I played a couple, I did a little uh, practice guesses there. Got my final score, got some gems, that's fine. But you have to get all five of these correct in order to get the egg. All right, so I just got the last one correct. We got a couple of seconds left here and I should get the egg after this. Now, I don't know if it's you have to get all five of them correct or you have to be near someone who gets all five of them correct or a certain point has to be reached, but there's the egg of guessing. All right, the extraterrestrial egg is uh, view clue one in your prizes. So clue one gives you a symbol. Now, what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna go into the shadow realm and you're gonna wanna look at the other symbols. So there's symbol number two on the chest. Basically the clue says the others know the rest. So you need to go to the aliens. There's an alien here. There's an alien in there, and there's an alien in the overworld. So square with lines across it. Then right here, we've got an open diamond for the fourth one. And then finally at the third portal is the, the other alien that we all know where they are. He's right here, and he has a square with a circle in it, which is number three. It has three written next to it. So then we go into the second portal, the rocket ship portal of the overworld. Run behind the eggs here, and you'll see all of the symbols. Number one 
was this one. You can do them one at a time. I just decided to do them all together because it was faster that way. So there's our dot. Now the second one was a square with lines through it, I believe. Like so. The third one, which I don't remember, so I'm just gonna go check. So it was a square with a circle. That's a diamond with a circle. Square with a circle. And then one of these will eventually trigger it, but we'll just go through them all until we... There we go, the extraterrestrial egg. So that's the code in its, like, finished form right there. It's been the same for me every time, so it's probably the same for you guys. All right, next up, we have the riddle egg. So clue two is, I left you something... Besides the Shunken Treasure. I hope it helps you with your adventure. Your friend, Debra Bandit. So, Shunken Treasure, obviously, there's a golden chest in Atlantis. So, let's head to Atlantis. Alright, so behind the chest here, there's a magnifying glass, which is going to give you footsteps. We're going to follow this to the Shadow Realm portal. Now, we don't go into the Shadow Realm portal. This is a secret portal you've probably heard about. It's easier to go around this way to get inside. So, there we go. We've gone into the back of the portal, which takes us to the Riddles. Now, these I have heard are different for everyone. So, I appear at night without being called and vanish in the day without being lost. And the answer is stars. So, you just run into the correct answer. And then, I soar without wings, I fall without landing, and I cry with no eyes. That's clouds, because it's rain. And I know all, but I cannot think for myself. Everyone's heard of me, but they have not spoken to me. Maybe this one, the World Wide Web? Yep, there we go. They turned green, I got the egg. Boom. The riddle is different for everyone, but even if you get it wrong, you could just guess all of them and eventually you would get it. Next up is the detective egg, so we look at clue number three, which is a map piece. This is behind the main shop in the overworld. Now, I cannot confirm or deny if you have to actually do all the steps, so I'm going to grab the pizza bubbles... I'm going to go into this portal here, and I'm going to jump into the genie's lamp and see exactly what happens. So nothing happens, and this is the issue that people were having on my live stream. So it looks like you have to go through all of the steps, even if you know the answer. So let's go through all of the steps so that you guys can follow them one by one, complete the riddle, and then jump into the genie. If you put on your pizza-flavored gum immediately, that works out great. So here's our next one. This is in Candyland. There is the Chocolate River. All right, into Candyland, we're going to run right down the back and climb up the Chocolate Waterfall. I was going to say Volcano, but it's Waterfall. Here is our next map piece. This shows us that X is right next to the EXP Island in the overworld. All right, into the EXP Island. This is where you're going to get your codec as well. So if you want to figure this out for yourself, um, I would recommend taking a screenshot of this or something. So up next, obviously, you can see Volcano in the Underworld. All right, back of the Volcano time. This one here. This is the one that confused a lot of people. These are the eggs in the Mystic Forest on the second last island. So we're going to go there next. All right, second last island in the Mystic Forest. There'll be our next clue right here. This one was really hard. This is the blue tree in the beach world. All righty, in the beach world, run around the back here. Here is the blue tree. This is the uh, kind of annoying part. You've got to get over the... over. Oh, can you run straight through? You can run straight through. Okay, next up. This is one of the islands in the Toyland. You are nearly done. This is like, you're really close to finishing this one. <laughs> okay, Toyland, I believe it is third island. But let's just double check. Third island, so here's the blocks you can see on the map. Here is the sign. Now, write all of these down, and then use the codec that you got from the XP island to eliminate all of the letters that it has crossed off, and then read it backwards, and I'm pretty sure if you touch this once, you're, you're ready to go to the next step. Basically, backwards it reads, Touch Genie's Lamp with Pizza Gum. So I've got Pizza Gum equipped, I believe. That looks like Pizza Gum to me, boys. So we should now be able to touch the Genie's Lamp and get our egg. Alright, Genie's Lamp, please! There we go. Detective Egg, insane, complete. That one was really cool. Really impressed by that one. So happy they did that. And now it's time for our last egg. Now, this one I'm not 100% sure on, right? Check clue floor, uh, four. Access requires sacrifice, okay? 70, 79, 89, 100, 112, 19, 38, 114, then this is 97, this is 99, and apparently when you put all of these numbers together, you get the index number for the orca, which is the epic from the ocean egg in Atlantis. So, 
we go get ourselves an Orca, and that's the only pet that you can have equipped. So into Atlantis, go to the second egg, turn off auto delete of your epics. That is now off. Just do some auto opening till you get an Orca. It's got a pretty common chance. There we go, got one. Equip your Orca, and then we gotta go to the volcano in the underworld. I'm yeah, I'm still not 100% sure if that's how they figured out Orca was the index number. I'm curious to know exactly what it is, but this does work. It says it requires a sacrifice. We've got our Orca. In we go. And now this is like a match the colors game. So red, green, green. Green, blue, green, green. Green, blue, green, green. And there we go. You get yourself the final egg, which is the crystal egg. Super awesome. You can go on your egg hunt. You've got all these free stuff you can claim. Get your Easter Warden. Get your Easter Legend title. And here is the limited edition Easter Warden. I'm not going to make the video any longer than this, guys. If this helped you out, please leave a like. Subscribe to the channel. Turn on the notification bell. And good luck hatching your Easter pets. This guy actually has decent gems, which will allow you to currency in order to hatch these eggs, guys. Good luck with your hatching. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you all next time.